Welcome back. We're going to have a look now at problem number five in the study guide for the Titrometric Analysis Experiment. Specifically, it's Experiment 2.1, Part 2, where we determine the strength of a vinegar solution in terms of the percent by volume of acetic acid in the vinegar by titrating it with the standard sodium hydroxide. So let's have a look at the equipment that uh, we would use, typical titration equipment. And in this setup, the burette would be loaded with the sodium hydroxide and uh, it's standard sodium hydroxide. The concentration is 0 0.09864 mole per litre. And in the Erlenmeyer flask is placed the aliquot of vinegar. In this case, it is 2.00 millilitres of vinegar and that is titrated uh, with the sodium hydroxide. The problem also tells us that it took 18.55 millilitres of the sodium hydroxide to reach the end point. So the titer figure was 18.55 mils. So we have to determine the percent by volume. That, that is what the question is asking. The percent by volume of acetic acid in the vinegar. Now, what exactly does that mean, that term percent by volume? Well, this is what it means. It's going to tell us the number of milliliters of acetic acid per 100 milliliters of the vinegar. So that's what percent by volume means, the number of milliliters of acetic acid in every 100 milliliters of vinegar. So let's have a look at the chemical equation. I've written that out already. Here is the balanced chemical equation for the reaction between the acetic acid and the sodium hydroxide, the acid in the base, yielding the salt, in this case sodium acetate, and water. So this is a balanced equation. The stoichiometry is one to one. So for every one mole of acetic acid that is present in the vinegar, we need one mole of sodium hydroxide to completely neutralize it. So the question is asking us, in this two milliliter sample of vinegar, how many milliliters of acetic acid are there? That is our problem. And then we convert to percent by volume. So we need to work out a strategy to get to our answer. And uh, let me just uh, show you what my strategy here is going to be. So if we start with uh, what we know, we can figure out the moles of the sodium hydroxide that we use because we know its concentration and we know its volume. So if we begin with the moles of sodium hydroxide, we can then convert that to the moles of acetic acid. And once we've done that, we can convert from moles of acetic acid to grams of acetic acid. And once that's been done, we can convert from grams of acetic acid to milliliters of acetic acid. And that would be milliliters of acetic acid in our two milliliter sample of vinegar. So how do we go about doing this, these various conversions? Well, let's have a closer look at how we can do that. So our conversion from moles of sodium hydroxide to moles of acetic acid, we can achieve this from the knowing the stoichiometry of the reaction, which is one to one. Okay. The next conversion is moles of acetic acid to grams of acetic acid. And for that conversion, we need to use the molar mass, the molar mass of acetic acid, which is 60.05 grams per mole. And then this last conversion here, going from grams of acetic acid to milliliters of acetic acid, we need to use the density of acetic acid. So density of uh, acetic acid. 
which is given as 1.049 grams per milliliter. So let's go through those conversions. So the moles of sodium hydroxide, uh, we get that from its concentration. So we have a concentration of 0 0.09864 moles of sodium hydroxide per litre. And we multiply that by the tighter figure in litres. The tighter figure in litres is 0 0.018 five liters and by doing that we get the liters to cancel out giving us of course moles of sodium hydroxide. We can then do the conversion to moles of acetic acid from the stoichiometry. The stoichiometry is one to one so if we multiply this now by one mole of acetic acid per one mole of sodium hydroxide then we get the moles of sodium hydroxide to cancel leaving us with moles of acetic acid. The next conversion where we use the molar mass of acetic acid to convert to grams of acetic acid so the molar mass is 60.05 grams per mole so if we multiply now by 60.05 grams of acetic acid per mole, per one mole of acetic acid. We can see now that the moles of acetic acid will cancel, leaving us with grams of acetic acid. And for the next conversion, to convert from grams of acetic acid to milliliters of acetic acid, we use the density and we have to use the, the reciprocal of the density to get the units to cancel properly. So we're going to multiply by one milliliter of acetic acid per 1.049 grams. of acetic acid and we can see by doing that the grams of acetic acid cancel leaving us with units of milliliters of acetic acid and doing that we get a result of 0 0.1048 milliliters of acetic acid. And remember this is in our two milliliter aliquot or our two milliliter sample of vinegar, the volume that we actually titrated. So to convert now to percent by volume, the number of milliliters of acetic acid that would therefore be in a hundred milliliters of vinegar, the percent by volume is therefore equal to 0.1048 milliliters of acetic acid per two mils of vinegar times 100. When we do that we get a result of 5.24%. That's rounded to the proper number of significant figures there.